years, but it looks like we have the librarians here now. Hmm. Indeed, indeed. It is so enjoyable for us to use these fleshy ears and listen to your sacred conversation. We are enjoying ourselves immensely. Gratitude. Happy to have you. Hmm. Welcome. Hmm. We are pleased to join with our friends on this experience. Of course, those who are filled with heart or artistic inspiration, imagination, spiritual inclination, no matter when in your linear timeline of human existence or where upon your physically geographic planet, these people are always drawn to crystals. Of course, they are drawn to other things as well, but the crystals are a common feature. Vibrations, music, singing, dancing may occur, but one culture will have drums, another will have a didgeridoo, another will have hmm, stringed instruments. And there are many ways of, of connecting with frequencies. However, crystals are common and kindred. Absolutely, across the board. But they're a part of our structure. They're a part of who we are. We do have a crystalline body and there's crystals in our bloodstream. So the resonance is going to be there. I mean, even people that are skeptical, we eventually get them in there too. <laughs> the crystal energy, the dust, the formation is all through your physical universe also appears in different forms in every dimension, every multiverse, every frequency. Absolutely. It is, yes, it is a common element for everywhere. Well, and it's perfect. You know, that's why we use it in everything. You're, the screens you guys are probably watching us on right now have liquid crystals in them. So, you know, whatever you may be worried about that's coming through the screen at you, guess what's programmable? Crystals. <laughs> Indeed, crystals are for transferring energy, for communication, for travel, for healing. It is always a transference of energy. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We wish to speak for a moment on the structure of the crystal. For, what? yes, yes, for some crystals have been planted in your planet by beings of other dimensions and frequencies for information and connection to them, their history, their knowledge, your ability to hold this crystal and then speak, communicate, travel to and visit with them. Some crystals are here to help pull elements to your planet. Elements and beings, knowledge, support. Some crystals are grown within your planet where the hot magma bubbles up from the belly of your mother divine and flows through her veins and arteries to the, the crust of your planet. In this process, many crystals are hmm, born. However, the elements have already existed. When a diamond, which is solidified carbon, 
becomes a solid rock? Is it more of a diamond than when it was carbon elements floating in the liquid fire? Mm -hmm. Indeed, things change form, including crystals. We are all in evolution. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And your explanation of their formation is right in alignment with one of the things that I saw of how this planet was seeded. The crystals from other planets carrying information, minerals, DNA, all of that being shot into a very youthful earth that was just completely hot. And as it cooled, those, those things settled. And then for you to speak of how the crystals move up through the various layers and the pressures and the gases come back together, that's where we start to see what, what beautiful pieces we have, both naturally and then some called to be carved into particular shapes. You are as accurate as you are eloquent. Oh. <laughs> Beautifully stated. 